Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for our main event. Ten rounds of welterweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. The body snatcher is so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. Marvelous is coming to the ring right now. We know what he offers up once he's inside the ropes, but not much intensity here in this ring walk. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. He just missed that shot up top. to that one, that was a solid uppercut. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. Marvelous is just being swarmed. He just got stunned. He got absolutely nailed. Able to cover up that gut. Body Snatcher's got to cut around his eye, and that can be a real danger spot threatening the outcome of this fight. A little head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. <laughs> Digging in with a left to the gut. Good flush shot upstairs. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Able to dismiss that body shot. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Halfway through round number one, the body snatcher's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Marvelous is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hackler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's going to live up to that. So far, so good. Unable to make an impact there by Marvelous. Keep working the body. Good step back counter punch there. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Keep it tight inside. Move your head. Final 
final 10 seconds of round number one. The body snatchers impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Right to the belt line. Marvelous, his movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. End of the round here, as we're ringside at our fight night venue. Of course, we're on the road with you every step of the way with a fine crew. We gotta give credit to the crew there, Robbie and Rick back in the production truck, doing a nice job all cramped up in a tractor trailer. Yeah, they do a great job. They allow us to go on the air and uh, allow us to away from do the, the fun power. part okay. while they're Serve doing the grunt work. They're power. doing all the difficult things back there. Of course, sad, Mike, right. Ryan, all those guys. We appreciate you very much, and um, we're not taking you out to dinner tonight. Marvelous is back. Look at him here in the start of this round. Remember, he got tagged hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself in top shape. Not much action as he just ties up. That's okay. That's all right. Now pay him back. Don't pay him back. Right on the mark with the hook up top. The body snatchers left, landing well. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Marvelous. Marvelous is once again the target of a hook. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. The body snatchers. He didn't see that left hand, and it got to him badly. He should really tie up now. The body snatchers trying to survive this. He has taken a beating right now. That one good shot came in and rocked him. And that's the problem with his defense right now. You know, he's trying to block those shots. You can't block two, three, four, five, six shots at a time. They get through. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Halfway through this round here. Good exchange. He fires back. Marvelous is left now getting into the mix. He scored well after being hit himself. Now you're seeing stamina right here. How can they possibly keep up this pace? Minutes ago in this round, and they have been all out. I know how I feel, Joe, myself. I mean, I feel like I've been on a roller coaster, except I'm not sitting, I'm standing. Good defensive skill. <laughs> Well-targeted left hand by Marvel. Throw it, throw it. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the body snatcher. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Ten clicks of the talk. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. Marvelous is getting hit too much. I mean, it's as simple as that, Teddy. He, he comes back after that round. And he just got popped a lot. Yeah, well, right now he's got to find a way to get away from some of those punches. But there's a problem, a big problem, like with anything else. How are you going to start changing it if you haven't been taught differently? I don't know that he knows the answers. Okay, keep boxing. Keep doing great. You're making it hard for him to hit you. Keep boxing smart now. In and out, side to side. You understand? Get in. Let's try so this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go.
blocks away that headshot. Move, move. Keep it A stinging uppercut by the body snatcher. I can only imagine what his opponent's thinking right now because he doesn't know what's coming at him at what time. This is a real good display of a great array of offensive skills. I think he feels like he's in a Chinese restaurant. You know, you get that menu, column A, column B, column C. You know, he, he doesn't know which one, which one to choose from. Well off the mark by Marvelous. Use the jab, use the jab, use the jab. And now a well-placed hook to the head. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Good right hand. See him holding on. Both men digging in with uppercuts. The body snatcher's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it can get nasty as the fight progresses. Flush right hand to the head. Watch the hooks. Watch the hook. Come on. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Scoring well with that hook by Marvelous. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the body snatcher. Keep your head And now he's targeting upstairs. Last 10 seconds of round number three. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Jab, jab, right. Okay? That's what I want to see. One, one, two. All night long. All night long. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. You're not winning and you're not losing. You understand me, kid? But we have to throw more than this guy. We can pull it. Round number four is underway. The body snatcher's got to feel pretty good about where things stand right now because he's still very much in this fight. It's anybody's fight, an even fight on your scorecard. Yeah, I think actually it's going to become a fight of attrition. Whoever's in better shape because this is every round being contested. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect it, form for it. it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Flush right hand to the body. And just grabbing on to his opponent. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Comes across with a hook up top. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Now he ties up there. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Come on, stay away from those. Come on, man. Nice work on the right hand 
by Marvel. It is unbelievable to sit back and just watch what these guys are willing to give and to take. Wow, what a fight so far. Well, give and take, that's the key word. Sometimes you're forced to become great. And right now, each one of them are forcing the other to go to great places. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Marvelous is scoring with that right hand. He missed with that headshot. Keep working the jab. Keep working the jab. Oh. Doing what you're doing, and you got this in the bag. I need to punch him. Wait for him to beat me. Listen, stay close to the guy. Don't let him get too far away from you. I want you to move in and hit the body. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Marvelous is doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, hey, you, you made a good point there, because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Solid shot, the overhand left. And he engages in the clinch. What a great job! He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the body snatcher. Another clinch. Keep it tight inside. Relax. Focus. Halfway into round number five here. Keep moving. Good job, boy. Good job. holding good job staying away from the danger there nothing there on the punch by marvelous oh and he's got something for him himself and it's a left hand See, he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Marvelous is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. They trade shots, he comes back with a right hand. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol.
That's it. That's it. I need another round just like that, all right? You're doing fantastic. Just keep up the good work. Nice work. He's hurt. Now I need you to jump on him this round, all right? So as the bell sounds, we put to bed the first half of this fight, and we are underway with a new round. Took a shot, now he gives a left. On the, on the inside, on the inside. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the body snatcher. Able to dismiss it. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. The body snatcher's leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can do it, but you're gonna get paid. You're gonna eat some leather. You're gonna get punched in the mouth. That's gonna happen. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. and fourth exchange. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Come on, now, let me see. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the body snatcher. Hey, man, come on now, keep your feet moving. Come on now. the hook didn't get it wow look at that training shots marvelous is giving us a taste of some of that athletic ability that hand speed right there good combination and his opponent though now is going to have to on, show us that he could do something to sort of you know adjust to this to counter this and that's going to be controlling range and timing because he can't match up with the physical hand speed Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Marvelous. This has been a very entertaining yeah, fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this nice round. My thoughts here. being this. Keep I smart. would really be surprised if we go to Don't a decision a here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. to start the seventh round. And he ties up on the inside. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Firing off the uppercuts, great exchange. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Locks it away. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. The body snatcher's gone into a defensive okay, shell, but that right shell has back. cracks in it. Yeah, it does, and the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek -a defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed, so he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's gonna come back. <laughs> Marvel 
Ellis, his movement helped out there. He, oh, he is stunned. He could go down. There it is! He is down on the floor after taking that shot. And there's a lot of time left in the round. <laughs> His night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance, he couldn't rise up and beat the count. Good, solid end to this fight. The body snatchers, power was the difference. One punch, one knockout, victory. The power and the timing. He delivered that punch right on the butt. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.